trust what you know that you know. The synergy is so powerful. So there is hope. And we are live for ADHD Rise. If you are here, let me know in the comments. Say hello. If you are brand new to this world, let me know. Say hello. My name is Val Nichols. I am a business coach for ADHD entrepreneurs just like you, for heart-centered, purpose-driven entrepreneurs. And we are live today. We are going to be talking about wellness and emotional balance naturally. We have an incredible guest who is going to be joining me very, very soon. Let me get her popped in here. Let me know when you guys hop on. Drop below, say hello, so that I know that you're here. So let me know how you're doing on this beautiful day. Hey. How are you, my love? So good. Hi. Awesome. Thank you so, so much for being us here today. We are so excited to have you here and to have you rock in. What's up, Polly? Polly says, what's up? Hey, Polly. And so, yes, we have Cindy here today, and she is an incredible woman. You guys, if you do not know her yet, get to know her. She is amazing. I've connected with her about, I don't know, maybe just, just four months ago, but it was one of those things where you instantly feel that connection and it's like, this is my girl, this is my people. And so I'm super excited to introduce her to you guys today. If you are looking for some natural remedies, some healing, some ways to explore your different ways of, you know, really focusing and all those different things. And I know she'll share more about that as well. But um, Cindy is a, she is, uses zero medications. You guys, zero medications. I know that can be a hot topic for some people. And zero medications. She no longer wears prescription glasses. She is an expert in helping you feel better, look better, and live better at any age, which I absolutely love. She is a wife, a mom, a grandmother, highly successful entrepreneur, and the top number one in her company. With that, I'll hop on over. I'll pass it on over to you, Cindy, so that you can share more about you. But welcome. I am so excited that you're here. Thank you. Oh, my word, Val. Well, first, let me get really clear. I am not the top number one in my company. I am in the top 1% of my company. Oh, but that's right. Okay. No, there's so much, so much growth ahead of all of us, right? So thank you, though, for those lovely words. I love you too, Val. You are putting together such an amazing um, education forum here, and I am honored to be a part of it, and I love to share to anyone, anytime, so thank you. First, let me, t so you told me a little bit about who I am. Let me tell you who I'm not. I am not a doctor. So a little, you know, mm -hmm. FDA disclaimer here. You see, to practice medicine requires a license. To promote good health does not. And that's what I'm about. So um, if you have medical questions, if you are on medications and you want to add and integrate in essential oils, hit, run it by your doc. I don't know anything about meds. So that's what I wanted to say. So I'm here as an educator. So I'm a scientist by education, but my passion, my passion is wellness naturally. So I left Western medicine and now I'm working with plants and I love it. That's who I am. So Polly was saying, no more glasses. Tell me more. Well, you know, it's interesting couple of the oils that I use, I put together this huge array of oils that really helps with brain function, optimizing our brains. And so lavender and, and frankincense are really helpful. And there's a whole technique that I teach. I won't take time now, but I do that and a couple other nutritional oil infused nutritionals and I don't need glasses. And every time I go to the doctor, I'm 61 years old. And, and my, my eye doc says, wow, Cindy, your eyes are actually better than last time. So that's wild. I would love to teach anybody that little technique one-on-one -on, -one on a Zoom or whatever. So just reach out to me. But the thing is, lavender and frankincense are super helpful for ADHD, turns out. So, you know, it's so fun that with essential oils, you can be focused on one issue and 
other issues get resolved because these oils are infused. They're like imbued. I guess the word is imbued with um, kind of a divine, I would just say God's wisdom because they're plant-based. And as long as they aren't messed up by man, like the oils that I will talk about today, you, you have to maintain their energetic integrity. So let's sit with that a minute. Energetic integrity. That means don't mess with them. Don't stretch the oils with colorless, odorless solvents and try to make more money out of it. Just use the oils mm. from the plant. And so anyway, that's really an, a big deal when we're talking about therapeutic use and really getting the oils into your brain. So Val, I'd love to share the easiest, best way to use essential oils for brain support. Well, let's just go right to frankincense. I use frankincense at night. I just breathe it in. You don't need anything fancy. Just take a drop. I love sacred frankincense. It, it's called sacred frankincense because it's, remember, I'm a scientist, so I'm going to go there. Boswellia saccharae is the genus and species. Mm -hmm. So saccharae, sacred. And then just I just put a drop in my palms of my hands and then make a scent tent. Take that drop, cover your nose, breathe it in. And hold it at the top of the inhalation. So what happens, like here's the science, here's the biology. These molecules of essential oil go into your nasal cavity and they stimulate the nerve endings in this little patch of epithelial tissue called the olfactory epithelial tissue. And it connects directly to the limbic part of the brain. And that's what we're talking about in when we're talking about ADHD and all these things. So where's the limbic part of your brain? So if you do a plane down here and here where these two planes intersect behind your eyes, that's where the limbic system is. And the limbic system controls or is kind of like the librarian for memory, emotion, and the sense of smell. So all that comes together in that part of the brain. So you got some crazy noise going on in your brain, grab lavender mm. or frankincense, breathe a drop in, hold it at the top of the inhalation, blow it out three times. And you, like it's a near immediate state change. And mm. if that's all you get from this, don't go to a grocery store and buy the cheapest oils get good oils. These are the ones I trust because they're the farmer. Everybody else, everybody else is a broker. Young Living is the farmer. So that's what I use. And maybe that's not okay to talk about it, but I don't want people to take what I'm sharing and teaching and, and go to like a gas station and buy essential oils. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So, anyway, so why is that so important, Cindy? Why is it so important that you know, looking at the quality of oils, I know that there's different things um, like pharmaceutical grade and there's things that can actually have like those harmful chemicals. Can you explain a little bit more about that? Yeah, it's really simple. That's a great question, Val. So the oils that they're in the plants, you want to use the oils like they are in the plants. And unfortunately, man mm. being man, we're, we're driven by money sometimes. And so colorless, odorless solvents and extenders can be in the oils, mm -hmm. even if the label says 100% pure oil. Isn't that wild? So the, 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 the labeling laws in our country are really messed up because you, mm -hmm. you can use words like organic and pure and 100% pure. 100% pure just means there's as little as 5% of the 100% pure substance. All the rest can be something else. There's very little regulation, maybe no regulation in this. So you got to know the company or know who you're working with. And so that's why I link arms with people. There's so much noise out there. And so I like to work with you one-on-one -on -one and just 
help it through. So that's important. And why is that important? Because you're breathing these in. If there's solvents in the oil, it's going into your brain. We all know that is not a good thing. So you really want to just get these molecules of oil. Can I tell you what my mentor calls, one of my mentors, Dr. David Stewart, he's passed away. You see, I have books everywhere. I'm kind of nerdy that way. Dr. David Stewart, he wrote a book called The Chemistry of Essential Oils Made Simple. Now, the book is 875 pages, so it's an oxymoronic title. But the subtitle, and this is what I love, he said, God's love manifest in molecules. So the chemistry mm. of essential oils made simple, colon, God's love manifest in molecules. So whatever you believe about whoever created, these are molecules of love until you mess with them so that's really important i love that god's love shows up in the molecules and so with those molecules what is it about specific molecules or specific oils that actually help that your brain focus and how can that help with you know like the emotional balance or concentration with adhd specifically like how could that possibly increase your focus? I love that. And, and really, that's a really big question. So there was some research done by Dr. Terry Friedman. He's an MD. And this was done back in 2001. And he specifically did studies with three different essential oils. He used vetiver. We talked about vetiver, cedarwood and lavender. And he had a group of people with ADHD or ADD, both of them. And they use them twice a day, just like I showed you, inhalation. And he, his studies found that they had clinically significant improvement or results with 60 days of just inhaling these oils twice a day. And so how it works, mm -hmm. and that's another big question, but I'll try to keep it simple. Some of these oils, like cedarwood particularly, is high in molecules called, don't write it down, don't worry about it, but sesquiterpenes. <laughs> sesquiterpenes cross the blood-brain barrier and oxygenate brain tissue. Like, so it just mm. brings oxygen to your tissue. And we already talked about the role of the limbic system. So memories and emotions and the sense of smell, it just kind of is very calming. And yeah, it crosses into the brain. And so these molecules are super powerful. That's a quick kind of simplified answer to a very deep question. And that does make sense because the fact that, you know, oxygen breathing is so important for our brains, especially when we're in that like panic mode and that fight or flight. And then we get that like <sighs> shallow breathing that can really affect our our thinking so and our brain function. True. Valid. That, so I, one of my favorite oils is called peace and calming. I don't, that might be backwards, but it's a little Ooh, yeah. roller ball, right? And so you're in that moment, right? Of, you know, that fight or flight thing, right? And so grab a roller ball and roll it under your nose. So you can just really breathe it in. Roll it on your temples, maybe on your brainstem. And the brainstem, by the way, is about an inch above your hairline on the back of your neck. And you just kind of put it there. Mm. These molecules go in quickly, within seconds, actually. So in a minute, you breathe it in, it's throughout your body. These molecules are so tiny and they just circulate cross through the lipid bilayer of the cell membranes all through our body. They go into the cells. Like this is powerful stuff. So I love that little blend for kids. You know, it's interesting. I'm, I'll tell you a little story. I, um, I fly a lot, not so much now with mm. post COVID and all the cray, but before I would fly and often it would be late at night and there'd be screaming kids on a red eye. Anybody you, you've had that experience. Mm. And it's like the poor kid, the poor mom. Right. And so my husband, when we flew together, he'd say, Cindy, go do your peace and calming trick. All right. So what he meant was I would just like, I don't want to be obnoxious. Some people are freaked out by 
aroma. So I just put a little oil on me, just really discreetly. I'll put it on me and then I'll go walk along the aisle and I'll just stand there. And I'm just kind of like this human diffuser. These molecules are coming off me and they're very, very pleasant. Like they smell like orange and just yum. And within a minute, my husband's back there timing it, you know, and within a minute, the baby calms down, the mom calms down, and I just kind of walk back and people are going, whatever you did, honey, thank you, right? And so just being a diffuser makes a difference because of the aromas, you're breathing in those molecules and it's affecting your brain and calming. That's incredible. And I do have a question on that with travel because you know that sometimes liquids and things can be a little bit... Um, concerning can you bring do you usually bring like the actual labeled jar or are you creating like your own blends uh, what i do is i'll take a ziploc baggie and i'll just cram it full of the oils if i'm not checking a bag and just carry on only i'll just take that you know quart size ziploc baggie it's not a problem and if ever like i've probably been on 150 flights like that you know and Maybe one time they'll go, wow, that's a lot of essential oils. What is this about? And I'll say, probably that was going into Canada. They want to make sure I'm not like starting a business or something. So anyway, I just said, these are for medicinal use. And that's the, that's the magic phrase, medicinal use. And they're like, oh, okay, go on through. Um, but just, they're little bottles, you know, they're way under the limit. This is a big bottle and it's only, you know, 15 milliliters so way under the two ounce size just put them in your ziploc baggie no problem no problem and another question that comes up is does the x-ray machine mess up the molecules and ruin the oil and the answer to that is no it might agitate oh. those molecules but then they calm back down and so that says, don't shake an oil out onto your hand. Allow it to just drip. These are molecules. This is like energy. And so you just like calmly breathe them in. You don't have to agitate them. And so I'm wondering for anyone that's out there and if they're new to this, like what are other ways that people can be, you know, consuming or, you know, using these types of blends or oils? This is kind of like super fine-tuning you can buy a little sake cup or a little tea cup you know these little chinese sized tea cups and if you put the oil in that like five drops or something and instead of in your hand and then breathe it in when you put oils on your body your body chemistry immediately changes the oil structure it changes it all right and so mm. if you want just the pure, like here's a great oil blend called Brain Power. And Brain Power, I did that earlier today. I put two or three drops in my little sake cup. And then, so here's the oil and breathe it in. Those molecules are, you know, they're evaporating. They're volatile, which just means they go into the atmosphere. They evaporate readily. They're tiny molecules, so breathe it in. It goes up into the nose, into the brain without being affected at all by my own personal chemistry. So that's a fine tune. Another way, oops, another way you can do it. Lemon is a great oil for cleansing the um, cells that have been exposed to all the lotions and potions and like those excitogenic molecules to toxic chemicals that we're all exposed to, mm -hmm. right? So put a few drops in your glass. This is cloudy. It's got a supplement in it, but you can just add a couple drops to your water and then you're investing. Mm -hmm. And with Young Living, you can use Vitality labeled oils and uh, just drop them in your water or in your juice or your smoothie and drink it in. You can put them in capsules. I have a friend right now that's taking lots of oil in capsules. She's saving her husband's mm. life, basically. And so you can apply them, like I mentioned before, you can apply them on your brainstem area, your occipital ridge, which is 
a whole lot of um, nerve endings and that's your hairline on the back of your neck and at night that's what i do and then on your temples on your forehead on your chakras um which are just neuroendocrine centers a lot of people are afraid of that word it seems so woo woo uh -uh. they're just neuroendocrine centers in our body the way we're designed so those are some places in some ways. Bottoms of your feet. Ooh. When we're yeah. talking about brain issues like ADHD, the, the pad of the big toe is a reflex point for the pineal gland in your brain. And so for sleep support, you can put oils on the bottom pad of your big toe and it will travel through energy pathways and really actually help your brain it's wild so i'm wondering if there's anyone out there that's like okay this sounds really cool but i have no idea where do i start how do i even get started like if there was one or two blends that you were suggesting for like adhd specifically or you know busy-minded entrepreneurs what would you suggest that they start out with what a great question val because there is a lot of noise out there. There's just a lot of information. There's a lot of misinformation. So I would say the three best oils, if you had to just limit it to three, would be lavender, the mother of all oils, very calming, all right? Frankincense, mm -hmm. we sometimes call frankincense the father of all oils. It's also very supportive and helpful. It quiet helps to quiet brain chatter. So lavender calms you. Frankincense quiets your brain. We know that's true, by the way. I'll tell you in a minute. Mm. Historically, we know that's true. And lemon. Lemon is a wonderful oil to just ingest, to diffuse. It really helps elevate your mood. It's sunny. We are kind of know that. We've sort of heard about that. But lemon is very uplifting. It's sort of like nature's antidepressant, interestingly enough. So frankincense, let me talk to you for a minute about frankincense. You know, in the Catholic Church, hist historically, they would, um, they would waft frankincense burners, which burned the resin of frankincense and created this molecular aroma that the congregation would breathe in because historically every, they kind of knew that frankincense changes your brain waves and quiet hmm. puts you in a more meditative, just quieted state. All right. So I just use the, the oil at night put it around my eyes, breathe it in, It put it maybe on my forehead, on my brain, and just quiets you. So these oils happen to be part of a starter kit that I wholly recommend. And, you know, um, you can reach out to me. I think maybe we'll, we'll put my contact information and I'll just link arms with you and help you navigate this world of aromatherapy. If anybody wants some specific, I, I don't charge to, to consult one-on-one -on -one because I'm all about helping. Like Val wants to help you. I want to help you. So that would be the easiest thing is just like, let's set up a time. Let's reach out, talk to each other. You know, with the brain functions, I know that you've given me some vetiver and I've been using that and that's been awesome. And then also, you know, another common trait for busy-minded entrepreneurs and ADHD entrepreneurs is, you know, trouble either falling asleep or staying asleep. So I how am, can we help with that? Oh, as I'm well? so glad you mentioned that. Val, that is so important. And I'm going to tell you what I do. And I've actually done a little experiment. You know, you have these apps that measure how long you're in, you know, deep sleep and how much in light sleep. So valor mm -hmm. these are roll-ons i like them in roll-ons because they're just easy so valor see the real roller ball okay so valor is a blend that actually balances the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system 
Okay, let's unpack that for a minute. The sympathetic, I mean, these are like your fight and flight and your rest and digest. So when you're ready to go to sleep at night, you want to calm down. You want to quiet down. So we talked about frankincense, but you can also roll this Valor blend that helps with that balancing on your brainstem and occipital ridge. Remember, I told you it's that hairline. You can feel it. There's a lot of nerve endings right there. And then on the bottoms of the big toe with Valor. And then this blend is called Ruta Vela. And it's a blend of Rue Graviolins, v Valerian, and Lavender. Ruta Vela. So those are the three oils in it. Rue, Valerian, and Lavender. And it, so... Just like you do it with the Valor, then repeat it with Ruta Vela. And if you happen to have a short night, like last night I had a short night, <laughs> but I had a deep mm -hmm. sleep, restorative sleep, like beautiful sleep. And those are the two blends. And uh, again, this is really short and sweet because you don't have a lot of time on this call, but let, let me chat with you and go into a little more detail. Anybody that wants a one-on-one, -on -one, let's link arms and I can help you. There's more for women, for example, you can use um, some oils to support your hormones at night, particularly mm -hmm. when you're getting older and, you know, menopausal stuff is paramenopause or whatever that mm -hmm. wreck your sleep. Right. So mm -hmm. there's a lot to share and learn about, but that's a great question. And that's my go-to to really get deep sleep. That's actually how I got diagnosed with ADHD was I was having trouble sleeping, night sweats, and somebody suggested maybe I had perimenopause. And so that's how I got diagnosed this time and actually took it seriously. There's a, a product okay. that Young Living does that I use. It's called Progessence Plus, and it's a natural bioavailable progesterone serum with frankincense in it and some other yummy things. And it just goes mm. in. I put it on my carotids at night. I've never had a, I've never had a hot flash. Um, a lot of people are just miserable with hot flashes in our age group. You're a lot younger than I am, but from 40, 50, 60s, miserable. And it's not necessarily you know, inevitable. You can support yourself with hormones, natural hormones. These are from wild yam and essential oils to carry them into your cells. So for people who are experiencing the hot flashes, I've heard it is miserable. And we did have a question. Evely said inability to concentrate for long periods of time. Yeah. There's a blend called brain power. Jitting. So for children, there's a, a really sweet blend called Genius. And it's already pre-diluted to make it really easy for kids. All right. And then Brain Power is a wonderful oil to take your physical energy and focus it on mental energy and really give you that focus. And if, you know, those are a couple of ideas. There's a lot of different options, but those are two that I really like. Um, remember the research I told you about earlier on our call, um, cedar wood, cedar wood is in both of these oils and it really helps to oxygenate the brain and quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very calming. And then fidget or, oh, fidgeting and picking at your skin. Is there anything that can help with that? Well, those are maladaptive behaviors to try to calm. And so I would think peace and calming would be an easy one to start to just try and see how they like that. This Gary Young made, he told me this, he created this blend for children in highly agitated lifestyles. All right. So, but that's not for, that's not the only use, but children love this blend it's kind of also referred to as babysitter in a bottle so it just mm. remember the airplane story it helps to calm and so then they don't need those um physical 
you know, maladaptive behaviors so much. So I would start, I would try this and maybe put it on the bottoms of their feet if they're a small child, or maybe just put it in your hand and help them breathe it in. You know, you just kind of put it over their nose or maybe put a little bit on their temples or rub it through their hair. There's a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. And take a little bit and start with a small amount with children. These oils in this blend are very gentle. There's nothing that would burn them or create any problems. So it's a very beautiful child proof blend. Beautiful. And that's a great question that we had as well. Um, is it safe for children and for dogs? Ooh, excellent question. I, I have a dog expert on my team and she lives in the Valley here in Oregon and she uses oils with dogs and her main business is uh, dog obedience training. And she loves oils and basically start with a little bit. You can use lavender, put a drop in your hand and then run it through their fur their hair or their fur for a dog. Um, yeah. And just introduce it. I'm working with horses now and you just kind of put an oil on and, and slowly introduce it to their nose and just kind of really introduce it gently. Same with children. We want our mm -hmm. children to love these oils and, and they do. They like, Oh, mommy oils. It's really fun to introduce this as a lifestyle instead of, drugs necessarily you know mm. right yeah absolutely and so i'm wondering too if because this is something i always worry about with cleaning chemicals and stuff you know it being on the floor and then my dog's rolling around on the floor so if a dog comes into interaction with this or a kid is playing on the floor it sounds like it's safe for yes let me just while you're listening for the, your audience here you can dilute essential oils for little babies, infants, children, it dilute it with a coconut oil or olive oil or, um, you know, what we call a carrier oil. And these are oils that have mm. large molecules and that slows the absorption into their bodies so that they can handle it very gently. So don't ever rinse essential oils off with water because you know how oil and water doesn't mix. So if you have oil on, put water on, it'll force the oil into your body too fast and it mm. creates an unpleasant sensation. So instead, apply coconut oil or jojoba oil or any of those kind of safe, pure, nice, not rancid, like sitting on your in your pantry for six years. No, but nice olive oil, good, healthy oils. Put it on, mix it like a drop of olive oil and a drop of essential oil or three to one and really just gradually introduce the oils in that way. And if you get an oil mm. on and the child's not really happy about it, maybe it says, creates a sensation that's unpleasant. So don't rinse it with water just have a carrier oil always nearby like coconut oil is so good for skin most people like that or olive oil or almond oil there's lots does that make sense yes that does absolutely and Polly says thank you do more of these please yeah. yes so i did put um your contact information here in the chats as well. What is the best way to get a hold of you for people who are wanting to learn more about all of this? Text me. Let me give you my phone number and you can type it or write it down 541 280 That's the quickest, safest way to reach me because, you know, I, I kind of struggle with the same ADHD sometimes and I can't there's so many different places, ways we communicate online on my phone, messenger, different email addresses. So if you really want to get a quick connection, text me. Well, thank you so much, Cindy. Thank you for your, your amazing topic. We had a, some great um, comments and questions here and everyone is saying, heck yes, they want to learn more about these essential oils. So everyone hop on over, send her a text now and let her know that you would want to know more about the ADHD oils mm -hmm. and how to really clear your mind. 
perfect. Val, thank you. Um, I'm on Facebook, uh, Cindy Miracle. So thank you, Val. Thank you for what you're doing to really promote wellness. I love it. Thank you for joining us, Cindy. This has been so awesome. And I'm sure it's one of many future collaborations we will have together. Yes. If there is one a piece of advice you could give to anyone who's wondering about this or curious or, hey, I'm kind of wondering, but I'm not sure, like, what would that be? Trust what you know that you know. And when you're out in the woods or walking on this, the beach and that vibration of nature, you know that makes you feel uplifted. And you talked about breathing. So let's add to whatever you're doing with the oils. Mm. And the synergy is so powerful. So there is hope. And so that's what I would say. There's so much hope. Mm. There is hope. Yes. I love it. Yes. Thank you so much, Cindy. I just know that you are going to bless so many people heard in the beauty that you shared. And I'm so incredibly grateful for you. So thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. Thank you. Mwah. All right, guys, we will see you soon. Thank you so much, Cindy. Go check out her website, cindymiracle.com. I will put her uh, Facebook link here in the comments as well. Thank you for everyone who joined in. Thank you for everyone who contributed and participated in the conversation. And remember, it's ADHD Rise because when I rise, you rise, we rise together. I love you guys.